Good evening. Before we begin our meeting this evening, Connor Fisk, a senior student at Destran High School, would like to offer a moment of reflection, which will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance led by Mr. Al Ellis Alexander. Please stand. Please bow your heads. Jesus, we turn our attention and our focus towards you right now because we believe that you're worthy of our thanksgiving, our worship, and our devotion. Jesus, we thank you for everything that you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you're going to do on our behalf. Most of all, we thank you for your sacrifice and for your blood, which miraculously washes away the sins of the world. We thank you for your love manifested in that while we were sinners, that you would die to have a relationship with us and that you would take our pain on your own body. And so we take this opportunity to worship you for who you are, and we say that we need you, God, and in all things we declare our dependence on you. I ask in faith that you speak to every heart and every mind in this room. Let every person feel the touch of your loving hand right now. Heal every sickness and disease. Remove all pain now, Lord, according to your grace and our faith. Mold us according to your word and according to your pleasure. Bless these people and give them favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Connor, for that wonderful moment of reflection. Connor is no stranger to this board. He's been recognized uh, numerous times, and uh, in fact, uh, shortly he'll be uh, recognized again during our, our board and superintendent's recognition. This meeting of the board of St. Charles Parish Public Schools for Wednesday, November, November um, 14th, 2018 is called to order. Good evening and welcome. We have all eight board members in attendance, so Madam Secretary, if you would please note that for the record. Also in attendance this evening is Superintendent Felicia Gomez-Walker and Shelley Babineau, the Executive Secretary for the, uh, for the board and superintendent. First item on the agenda is um, item 2.01, Board and Superintendent's Recognition. Before we actually announce the recognitions, I'd just like to say on behalf of the school board, congratulations to the students, employees, and teams that will be recognized this evening. We give thanks every day, every month, especially the month of, uh, of November, Thanksgiving month. And um, we are truly thankful, thankful to you for being outstanding representatives of St. Charles Parish Public Schools. At the end of the, at the conclusion of the recognitions, we'll take a short recess for those of you who would like to leave to do so. And uh, again, congratulations. Thank you. Students, Hornville High School students were named to the all-district cross-country first team. Alexandra Oakwan. Madison Araby. <laughs> Bo Malasson. Destrahan High School student was named to the all state and all district honor bands, Connor Fisk. <clears throat> Hunter 
High school students were named to the All District Honor Band. From Destrahan High School, Gabrielle Abate. Hawnville High School, Colin Barrios. Aaron Hicks. and Elena Simon. Destrahan High School student was named the best drum major in class triple A and the best drum major overall at the Louisiana Showcase of Marching Bands, Casey Wagaspak. <laughs> Destrahan High School student was named to the All District Cross Country First Team. The student, Jordan Terrell, would not, is not able to make it here tonight, so she's being represented by her brother, Ty. <laughs> Employees. Destrahan High School employee was one of three individuals in the state recognized as a 2018 LMEA Outstanding Young Music Educator, Christopher Williams. Satellite Center employee was awarded a Brown Foundation for Service Learning Projects grant for $6,974. Craig Howitt. Teams. Satellite Center's Health Science Pathway was recognized by the American Cancer Society as a top 20 influencer of the 20th annual Making Strides Against Breast Cancer of New Orleans. Here tonight, we have facilitators Denise Robichaud and Renee Labatt, along with several team members. Hornville High School's Tiger Bots Robotics Team 2183 received a grant from Energy Waterford 3 for $10,000 and a grant from the Monsanto Fund for $5,000. Coach Tyler Dufresne.
We're back in session to conduct the business portion of our meeting. Uh, item 3.01, minutes from the October 22nd, 2018 committee meetings and Move October 24th, 2018 board meeting. Sorry about that, jump quick. Move approval of the minutes of the October 22nd, 2018 committee and October 24th, 2018 board meeting. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Robichaud, seconded by Mr. Nakan. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. Nice. That motion passes by unanimous vote. The next item is item 3.02. Resolution for Shell Sponsorship of the Dr. Rodney R. LaFon Performing Arts Center Endowment Fund. The resolution reads, whereas the Dr. Rodney R. LaFon Performing Arts Center is a world-class facility that magnifies arts education and elevates the social culture of our community. And whereas the center is a venue for diverse performing arts programming collaborating with artists and engaging students and community members in the creation, appreciation, and understanding of the arts. And whereas the school board desires to establish a sustainable funding source for the supplemental operations of the center, and whereas Shell Narco Manufacturing Complex has committed to contribute the sum of $5 million over a six year period to the St. Charles Parish School Board for the establishment of an endowment fund for the purpose of generating a sustainable funding source for the Dr. Rodney Orlefond Performing Arts Center. And whereas, at a, as a condition of the gift, the school board agrees to grant the name and rights of the theater located at the Dr. Rodney Orlefond Performing Arts Center. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the St. Charles Parish School Board, accept the sponsorship and conditions as outlined in the agreement. Move approval. I'll second. We have a motion by Mr. Robichaud, seconded by Mr. Nakan. Any discussion? All right, yes, Mr. Mr. Uh, President. Um, I got my hands on this contract today for the first time. It's a 20-page agreement, and I have uh, many questions. Uh, concerning this contract, uh, among them is the the length. Can we legally enter into a contract 20 years? I've never seen anything more than three years that we've entered um, in since I've been on the school board. So that's um, one of my questions. Another one of my concern is the uh, at the end of 20 years, Shell holds the rights to continuing the agreement, whether we approve it or not. So um, I um, would like to, to speak with the, the attorney who, who drew up this contract or, or worked on this contract on our behalf before I vote on it. So at this point, I'll make a motion to table this resolution until our next meeting. Is any second to that motion? That motion fails for the lack of a second. Um, I have another question. How, how many board members have read that contract in its entirety? I have. It was attached to the, uh, the agenda item at Monday's committee meetings, and uh, I actually reviewed it over the weekend. I have, a, I have a lot of concerns about this contract, and I think it would be uh, irresponsible for the board to approve this at this point without um, us having the opportunity to, to have a, a lawyer um, that, we can, um, that we can talk to about the, um, the terms of this, this contract. Any further discussion? Please cast your vote.
That motion passes. Madam Superintendent, would you like to introduce our guest from, uh, from the Shell Narco? Yes, first of all, I would like to say thank you so much for your generous contribution to um, this endowment. Um, tonight, we have representatives from Shell, Brian Patrick and Matt Adams. Gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce you, acknowledge you, and ask you if you would like to say a few words. Thank you. Sure. So uh, I'm Brian Patrick, and this is Matt, um, a colleague of mine at Shell. And uh, just on behalf of Shell, we want to tell you how much, how grateful we are to be a part of this. It is the most fabulous facility, and to think that we're going to have our name in, inside it is just ex so exciting. The folks at Shell, when we, uh, when we first announced that we were going to do this, it was amazing to hear them all stand up and talk about how often their kids participate, and we're looking forward to using this and how proud they were that we were gonna do this. It is not often in the shell system you will find us having the opportunity to do something like this. And um, it's great that we're able, I told Matt, I am so excited that I'm even here to share this with you guys because it will be one, one for the making and for a long time. So thank you very much and we look forward to being a part of it with you. Thank you. And Matt, I know you have children in our school system that attend Luling School. Yes, ma'am. So they will have many benefits Absolutely. of this facility. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you both for Thank attending. You. Thank you, Brian and Matt. The next item is item 3.03, personnel items. This agenda item was reviewed at the Personnel and Policy Committee meeting of the board on Monday, November 12, 2018, and is aligned with goal B of the board's strategic plan. I move approval of the personnel items as presented to the board Monday evening. Second. We have a motion by Mrs. Bernard, seconded by Mr. Savoy. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. That motion passes um, by a seven to one vote. Madam Superintendent? Uh, yes. I'd just like to say that tonight as an item on personnel notes, I officially informed the board of my retirement effective July 1, 2019. This early announcement allows the school board to conduct a superintendent search select the next superintendent, and provide for a seamless transition to new leadership in this district. Being the school system superintendent in St. Charles Parish is a privilege, and as superintendent, I will continue to be active, fully engaged, and present until July 1st, 2019. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Item 3.04, expulsion appeal of student one, uh, student number one. As per the Louisiana revised statute, title 17, section 416, paragraph C, three, B, four, the school board may review expulsion decisions and choose to affirm reverse or modify the actions previously taken by the superintendent or the superintendent's designee. The members of the St. Charles Parish School Board <coughs> met as an ad hoc committee on Monday, November 12, 2018, at the request of student number one's parent to consider her request to the board to review the decision to expel student number one and the resulting sanctions. The mem members of the St. Charles Parish School Board need to consider 
and then act upon the recommendation of its ad hoc committee. Entertain a motion. Mr. President, I move that we approve the ad hoc committee's recommendation to affirm the expulsion and sanctions of student number one. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Nakan, seconded by Mrs. Bernard. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. That motion passes. Item 3.05, uh, expulsion appeal of student number two. As per the Louisiana Revised Statute, Title 17, Section 416, Paragraph C3, B4, the school board may review expulsion decisions and choose to affirm, reverse, or modify the actions previously taken by the superintendent or the superintendent's designee. The members of the St. Charles Parish School Board met as an ad hoc committee on Monday, November 12, 2018, at the request of student number two's parent to consider her request of the board to review the decision to expel student number two and the resulting sanctions. The members of the St. Charles Parish School Board need to consider and then act upon the recommendation of its ad hoc committee. Mr. President, I move that we approve the ad hoc committee's recommendation to affirm the expulsion and sanctions of student number two. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Nockhand, seconded by Mr. Smith. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. That motion passes. Item 3.06, Behavioral Health Services for Students, Policy 1.24, Second Reading and Adoption. Due to the passage of Act 696 from the 2018 Louisiana Legislative Session, the creation of a new policy and procedures relative to the provision of behavioral health services for students during the school day is required. This agenda item was reviewed at the personnel and policy committee meeting of the board on Monday, November 12, 2018, and is aligned with goal D of the board's strategic plan. I move acceptance of board policy 1.24, behavioral health science services for students for a second reading and adoption. Our second. We have a motion by Mrs. Bernard, seconded by Mr. Nakan. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. <coughs> that motion passes. Item 3.07, Legal Services Resolution. In order to assist with school law and sales and use tax legal matters, the district needs to have additional firms available with extensive litigation experience and to offer expert advice. This resolution is necessary in order to comply with the requirements of Louisiana Revised Statute Title 47 Section 263, authorizing the school board to hire and maintain a diverse list of available attorneys when legal matters arise. This item was reviewed at the Risk Management and Insurance Committee meeting of the board on Monday, November 12, 2018, and aligns with Goal B of the district's strategic plan. I move approval. A second. We have a motion by Mr. Nakan, seconded by Mr. Oquan. Any discussion? Please cast your vote.
That motion passes by unanimous vote. Item 3.08, 2019-2020, St. Charles Parish Head Start Program Competitive Grant Application. The St. Charles Parish Head Start Program is seeking approval for its program competitive grant application to comply with federal guidelines and the Head Start performance standards. The St. Charles Parish Public Schools Head Start Management Team comprised of policy council members, directors, content area specialists, and school system administrators have approved the program competitive grant application. The St. Charles Parish Public Schools Head Start program provides support and learning experiences for children from three through age four and their families to promote long-term positive effects on physical, intellectual, and social emotional development. The program also strengthens the role of families as primary caregivers and teachers of their children through education and support. This agenda item was reviewed at the Curriculum and Instruction Committee meeting of the board on Monday, November 12, 2018, and is aligned with goal A of the board's strategic plan. I move approval of the 2019-2020 St. Charles Parish Head Start Program competitive grant application. The cost of this competitive grant application will provide $1,669,912 in federal funds for 2019-2020. St. Charles Parish Public Schools will supplement the Head Start Program by $1,090,379.86. Second. We have a motion by Mrs. Bernard, seconded by Mr. Sabwa. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. And that motion passes by unanimous approval. Item 3.09, accounts payable for the month of October 2018. Invoices and other financial obligations of the school district are customarily paid weekly. Requests for approval of these transactions is normally made to the board monthly. The board must approve expenditures of public funds under its jurisdiction. This agenda item was reviewed at the Finance and Audit Committee meeting of the board on Monday, November 12, 2018 and is aligned with goal C of the board's strategic plan. Mr. President, I move we approve the accounts payable for the month of October 20, 2018 as presented in the amount of $3,747,836.15. second. We have a motion by Mr. Oquan, second by Mr. Nakan. Any discussion? Please cast your vote. That motion passes also by unanimous vote. That brings us to closing items, beginning with item 4.01, standing committee reports. Any chair of a standing committee may present a report at this time. Uh, Mr. President, the Personnel and Policy Committee met on Monday, November 12, 2018. There were three items in our agenda. Uh, personnel items behavioral health services for students policy 1.24 second reading and adoption and the legal services resolution all three of these items were brought before the board table this evening and approved earlier and that concludes my report thank you mrs bernard uh, next mr president the curriculum instruction and assessment committee met on monday november the 12 2018 we had two items on our agenda uh, for committee meeting only was an overview of district and school performance scores by Mr. A.J. Pathé. And the second item was um, the 2019-2020 St. Charles Parish Head Start Program Competitive Grant Application, which was previously 
previously approved this evening. And that concludes my report. Thank you again, Mrs. Bernard. Yes, sir. Anybody else? Mr. Suffren, uh, if I may, um, under the personnel section of uh, the meeting that took place regarding the superintendency, uh, first of all, let me thank Ms. Gomez Walker for her service uh, to the school district, a uh, long time service to the school district. Um, Ms. Walker has done an outstanding job as the superintendent in the district, particularly the, this school district has maintained an A rating uh, throughout her tenure, and uh, I think that we're grateful for that, and we are looking forward to carrying this on to the next level. Uh, again, I want to express my thanks and appreciation to the board uh, for asking me to, again this year, serve as chair of the superintendent's search process. Um, we have, I have put together a team of, which includes members of the staff to assist with the search process. The search process will be pretty much the same as it was uh, a few years ago when we conducted a search for Ms. Gomez. There are going to be a couple of things that we will probably do a little differently than in the last search. Uh, during this particular search, uh, we have a computerized component which will allow every citizen in St. Charles Parish uh, to have an opportunity to participate in the search process by responding to five questions that will be posted. Uh, online. The responses will be calculated uh, in a Google format and uh, we will be using the responses to those five questions to develop a profile of the next superintendent for our school district. Um, again, during this search process, we will have a uh, community input group. Uh, that community input group will consist of uh, perhaps uh, 30, maybe 40 individuals. Uh, the, those individuals will come from the business and industry, from uh, the central office, the chamber of commerce, uh, the clergy. Uh, principals of the year will be a part of that group. Uh, retired teachers will form a part of that group, as well as students from both Destrehan and Hornville High School. And uh, the Teacher of the Year uh, will be a part of that. <laughs> Additionally, this year we're going to add another group to that, uh, to that committee, and that group would be students who make up the Superintendent's Advisory Committee. Those students will be added uh, to that group, and that group will provide us input that will help us to further develop the profile of the superintendent, uh, the next superintendent for St. Charles Parish. So once again, uh, we will be providing you with information, with timelines, and all of that information as they are developed and as they are ready. We will be uh, providing a news release to the press as soon as we get the process underway and get the process going. Uh, finally, I want to say that this will be a national search. Uh, during the last search, we did a regional search. This year, we're going to do a national search, meaning that we will be looking at candidates from across the United States. Uh, and hopefully, uh, we will be able to draw a, a, a real good cadre of individuals who can help us move this district to the next level. So thank you. Thank you for that report, Mr. Smith. Any other committee <coughs> reports? Um, the Finance and Audit Committee met, also met on Monday, November 12th, and covered two items. Uh, both of those items came to the full board during this meeting and were approved. Those two items were the resolution for the shell sponsorship of the Dr. Rodney Alderfond Performing Arts Center Endowment Fund and the accounts payable for the month of October 2018. 
Item 4.02, Superintendent's Report. Madam Superintendent. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> I'd like to make a report on the athletics in our district. Uh, as far as swimming is concerned, Destrehan High School boys and girls swim teams were crowned individual and combined team West District champs. Hornville High School's boys team was the West District runner-up. The Destrehan and Hornville boys and girls teams will travel to Sulphur, Louisiana for state competition. In volleyball, the Hornville High volleyball team was crowned undefeated district champions and advanced to the first round of the playoffs where they <coughs> defeated Sulphur. The Lady Tigers then fell to Mandeville High in the second round of the playoffs. The Destrehan High volleyball team was district runner-up and advanced to the first round of the playoffs where they upset Acadiana High for the first round victory. The Lady Wildcats were defeated by St. Joseph Academy in the second round of the playoffs. Both volleyball teams had great seasons. The Hornville Highs Boys took first place in the District 7-5A cross country and fifth in the region. The Hornville High girls were district runner-ups and fourth in the region. Both the boys and girls teams competed in the state competition in Natchitoches, Louisiana, where the weather conditions were just horrendous. And you probably saw on Twitter or Facebook how one of our cross-country girls actually helped another girl um, in the race, and it was very heartwarming. The Destrehan Wildcats finished the regular season 9-1 and one and were crowned District 7-5A champions. The Wildcats are ranked second in the state, and they defeated 31st-ranked Hammond High School in the first round of the playoffs. Destrehan will now travel to Algiers to face 18th ranked Landry Walker this Friday night. The Hornville Tigers finished the regular season with a 5-5 five and five record. The Tigers entered the playoffs ranked 22nd and defeated 11th ranked Walker High School in the first round of the playoffs. The Tigers will host 6th ranked Zachary High School this Friday night. Good luck to both teams in the second round of the playoffs. The school system is reaching out to persons who can support the success of a student by mentoring. Mentors are needed at both of our high schools. Mentors must be at least 18 years old, make a one-year commitment for approximately 30 to 40 minutes a week, and believe that you can make a difference in a student's life. For more information or to sign up, please contact Dr. Alice Cryer Sumler at 985-785-7214. After the Thanksgiving break, the school system will be conducting a survey to set priorities and seek input to develop the 2019-2020 school calendar. The results of the survey will be shared with the calendar committee. We appreciate your input. The board meeting in December will begin at 5 p.m. And finally, in observance of the Thanksgiving holidays, schools will be closed Monday, November 19th through Friday, November 23rd. Classes will resume on Monday, November 26th. On behalf of the board, myself, and the entire school system, we would like to express our heartfelt thanks to the families and community of St. Charles Parish for support of this school system. We're wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. You mentioned uh, athletics, and you touched on the uh, Hanville Zachary football game schedule for this Friday. I just want to uh, point out uh, that that game will be televised uh, as the um, game of the week by Cox Sports Television. So, Great. Thank so you. those that can't make it out to Tiger Stadium, they can still pick it up and uh, watch it on TV. Move adjourn.
Motion by Mr. Robichaud, second by Mr. Nakan to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed, nay. We stand adjourned.